let us consider problem 4.113 of Sontag in which we have a spring loaded piston cylinder arrangement like this it contains R134A which is a refrigerant so state 1 is at T1 equal to 20 degree Celsius and X1 is equal to 0 0.24 the initial volume is 50 liters. The setup is heated and this expands moving the piston. It is noted that when the last drop disappears, the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. So state 2 is T2 equal to 40 degrees Celsius, next to equal to 1. Heating is stopped when final temperature is 130 degrees Celsius. So let us try to first visualize how the process would look on a PV plane. So the state 1 is at a quality of 0 0.24 at 20 degrees Celsius. For a linear spring which is resisting the motion of the piston, the process occurs in a straight line. process occurs in a straight line. So it is given that when the last drop is converted into steam, the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. So this is, this is the point where the quality is 1. After this, it is heated to 130 degrees Celsius. So we know that the pressure and volume must follow this line, but we are only given one property the final state okay so what how do we approach this problem we are given that the temperature is 130 we know that the pressure and volume are related by this linear curve now if we have various iso terms so these are the different isotherms so let us say this is at t equal to 120 degree celsius t equal to 130 degree celsius and T equal to 140 degrees Celsius. So these are the different isotherms. So it is clear that where this particular process line intersects the required isotherm, that is the point of solution. So this is the required this is the required solution. So this is state 3. So the geometric interpretation is clear. The point where the line is intersecting the isotherm is I ideally the state that is desired. So this is the final solution. It needs to be found out iteratively. The reason is as follows. So this is the isotherm. So suppose this is my initial guess. Let's call it as P prime. So the initial guess combined with the fact that we assume that the initial guess and the isotherm are the two properties that we have will yield me an initial volume V prime. However, we know that the variation in the pressure versus volume line would yield a corresponding volume equal to this point V process. So there is a clear difference between these two. A clear difference of delta V equal to V P prime minus V prime indicates that we must better our initial guess. If we make a guess over here, say P double prime, then we would be at this. So this is one and this is the other. So in that case, 
this point is v prime as per the v double prime uh, so that this point is the v double prime corresponding to p double prime and this particular point is v p double prime the the point according to the process so basically corresponding to p prime we have some error delta v corresponding to p double prime we have another error and we must find the appropriate pressure at which the error becomes zero error equal to zero implies appropriate p ok so let's see how to approach this problem so t1 is equal to 20 degrees celsius x1 is equal to 0 0.24 volume is equal to 50 liter so the mass is equal to volume divided by the specific volume then for the state 2 so this is state 1 state 2 is x2 is equal to 1 t2 is equal to 40 degrees celsius so the specific volume at 2 is equal to volume r134 a t equal to t2 and x equal to x2 similarly state 3 x3 oh sorry we just know that t3 is equal to 130 degrees ok the pressure at point 2 equal to pressure we copy this okay let's just see where the different points are okay before we proceed any further we must know what the, the initial pressure is so that's a very simple step p at 1 is equal to pressure at r134 a t equal to t1 x equal to x1 we are just finding out the pressures in order to have a look into how the process actually looks so we go to plot property plot r134 a we go to pv and we include a line of 130 degrees okay very good okay here is the plot here is the plot I will delete the extraneous lines ok so this is the dome of PV uh, the dome of saturated vapor and, liqu vapor and liquid mixture let us overlay our various points so on the x-axis we have specific volume on the y-axis we have pressure so this is the way the point is evolving is evolving in a straight line and eventually because it's a linear spring this point will go straight and intersect the 130 degree isotherm somewhere over here let me try to draw a line so this point is the solution point okay this particular point is the solution point So we must guess what the pressure is because 
it is not known exactly how the relationship between temperature and pressure is that is why we cannot find out the intersection between this line exactly between this line and this curve exactly okay so in, to in order to find that you have to start making guesses I hope the problem is clear this straight line will intersect this point and this is the point of interest because the spring loaded piston okay we proceed on so state 3 let us make one p guess equal to 1100 kilopascal so let us find out what V guess is equal to it is equal to the volume R134 A at T equal to T3 and P equal to P guess similarly let us assume another P double so another guess point 1100 kilopascal V guess guess equal to volume R134 A T equal to T3 and P equal to P guess guess so the these are the volumes estimated if the temperature was 130 degrees Celsius and the pressure is this however the V process guess is equal to a linear function estimated through the slopes the V process is lying on the straight line so the V process is always lying on the straight line the equation for the straight line is equal to PG minus P2 divided by P1 minus P2 is equal to Vg minus specific volume at 2 divided by specific volume at 1 minus specific volume at 2 similarly we have P double prime minus is equal to V double prime ok so the error error prime is equal to V so this should be equal to the VG process is equal to VG process minus VG so this point is the VG process and this point is the VG VG process corresponds to the case where the points were on the straight line where the pressure and the volume are related by the straight line but VG the V guess corresponds to an isotherm 130 degree Celsius and P because the VG is corresponding to the isotherm T equal to 130 degree Celsius and the guest pressure so the error record is this similarly the error record is equal to VGG prime and VGG so let's see so this should be GG ok so one of the errors is 0 0.005624 and one of the errors is 0 0.02196 oh sorry is 0 0.01103 okay so the errors are rather small which does indicate that we are close to the actual solution it indicates that we are close to the actual solution okay that is very much clear from the problem itself where it says verify that the final pressure is about 1 to 0 0 kilopascal ok so in order to find out what the actual error will be so what the actual pressure should be so we found out that corresponding to P prime we had delta V prime corresponding to P double prime we had delta V double prime so delta V double prime is this ERRGG and delta V prime is this ERRG so 
in the abstract space of the guesses so we call this as the p guess and we call as the delta v guess we must find a p guess such that delta v guess is equal to zero we can do this by means of a linear interpolation so if we let so if we have all the lines on a linear interpolated then simply p prime minus p double prime by p actual minus p double prime is equal to delta v prime minus delta v double prime by minus of delta v double prime because the corresponding delta v for p equal to p s c is equal to zero that is the error is zero if the error is zero if the error is zero then we have reached the final solution because the isotherm and the straight line are intersecting and there is no conflict between the volumes evaluated from the two approaches so let's see so the p final minus so p g minus p g g divided by p final minus p g g is equal to e r r g minus e r r g g divided by minus e r r g g okay convergence is not obtained try changing the guess value for p final okay these are the standard issues faced in es because the the guess value the, the so es is trying to find out the value from a guess value without this line if you comment out this line there's no problem everything is fine so in order to find out what the final solution is Okay, let me set a very small error. Let's see. I'm still not able to find a converse solution. Let me uh, let me write one e minus three. I'm still not able to find the appropriate solution. The problem arises from possible issues of convergence because p final may go very close to p g g. So let me change this as. this no nope, still doesn't work mm, so these are the small idiosyncrasies of es and one should be careful about what i hope i have impressed upon you the concept of the problem which is to find the appropriate point by means of convert uh, by means of iteration so okay good so the final pressure i have just um, uh, swapped around the numerator and denominator for each terms because what my feeling was was that the denominator was getting very close to zero by virtue of which there was no convergence in the internal inbuilt solver of eeas despite the fact that it was nothing more than a linear interpolation these are small things this shouldn't happen if you use a calculator or something like that so the p final comes out to be 1204 kilopascal which is very close to the answer that the the question is asking us to solve it's a review question so it's not a very easy question so we have linearly interpolated in the abstract space of the guesses of p and the delta v caused by the guess the delta v is the difference between the volumes when the process is assumed to be a linear process in p and v and when the process is assumed to be an isothermal process okay so the intersection of these two points yields a zero delta v that is the point that we would like okay so in the end we also want to find the work done during the process so the work done is very easy to find out the work done for this process is 1 by 2 times mass times p final plus p of 
divide multiplied by the specific volume specific volume at the final point minus specific volume at point 1 so let me call p3 as p final and specific volume at point 3 is equal to volume of steam of r134 a at t equal to t3 and p equal to p3 this will help us in plotting so we are now in a position so the work done is equal to 75.4 kilojoule no problem so let us try to plot that is more important ok uh, by let me remove the lines of constant quality and is isoentropic lines Okay, so ES has crashed for me. Uh, that's as usual. Uh, but I hope you can plot the following process and you will see that the final point is actually on the straight line connecting. So the final point will be the intersection between the straight line and the isotherm. Try this problem. <laughs> 